Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Nash Bueller with the Bueller Group. Um, Shane Sharp, our preferred lender. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we wanted to have Shane on. We've been hearing a lot from different lenders all over the place. Um, everyone knows, watching the news, interest rates are going up. Um, so we just kind of wanted to sit down and start talking about some interesting and creative ways to help you guys that you're not going to be locked in or have to worry about being locked into you know, a six and a half, seven, seven and a half percent interest rate. What's, what's the highest you saw pop up here recently? The highest recently uh, is about seven and a half percent. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, I think they're going up to about eight percent if the feds have, keep messing with stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Yeah. Mean, they have, do you think we'll have another jump before the end of the year? I think so. Yeah. I, I, I feel it's very realistic to by the end of maybe Q1 next year, 2023, to have about eight, eight percent would be a, a number that we're seeing. Okay. Yeah. And so that's for you guys. I know that's alarming and I mean that's that's a big number we haven't seen those numbers since geez what early 90s yeah or uh, I'd say early 2000s yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so I mean there are solutions out there so there are definitely programs th things that we haven't really seen done in a while just because you know with a three four percent interest rate you're not seeing arms you're not seeing buy downs there's just not really a whole lot of point to buy down a three four percent interest rate yeah um, so kind of talk about like what are some of the solutions i mean there's a buyer we're working with right now that you've kind of helped him um we actually have the seller paying the credit to buy those points down so like what does that look like for for a buyer yeah there's a lot of different ways to structure and i think the worst thing that any buyer can go into this is say thinking that there's a one-size-fits-all for every solution because everyone has different goals this might be your forever house that you're going to retire in and pass down to your kids uh, this might be a rental property. This might be a starter home that you don't love that you sell in two years. You know, every situation is different. So I think that's really important to know what is your situation, your timeline, what do you expect to get out of this? Um, the the neat thing about this market is sellers, well, the sellers that are selling want to sell. Yeah. They're motivated to sell. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's allowing some some really exciting options. I feel that weren't available 12 months ago, not because people. Yeah, I'm, are, I'm seeing seller paid credits for the first time in five, six years, seven years. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> like what, what box is that going? <laughs> I forgot, I like, then dusted didn't, didn't off. Know that was a thing. Yeah. Uh, and with, with one buyer that we had, Nash did a really great job at um, negotiating for the seller. You might kick me for saying this number because this video might be dated, but you know, mark this date, November 2022, he actually got $15,000 of credits. Yeah. And this isn't a $2 million house. This is a $375,000 yeah, $375, purchase price. So sub 400. So, um, there's two things that we can actually really three things that we can do with that. Number one, uh, there's not fifteen thousand dollars of closing costs to cover, so no. uh, we could do some stuff and cover that. Maybe buy down the interest rate a little bit for what's called a permanent buy down. Um, but the challenge there that that creates a really exciting struggle, which is rates are going to drop in twelve yeah. months. Yeah, uh, it's going to happen. You know, mark my words, twelve to twenty four months, they're going to be a, a very significant drop in rates. So the the challenge that we had there that we got to uncover and, and solve is. How can we find a solution to be able to structure this buyer? This specific buyer um, knew that he was going to get an increase in pay over the next couple of years. How could we save him seven hundred to a thousand dollars a month on yeah. this payment um, to have his payment in his ideal range while still not putting him in a, I'll say, a predatory lending yeah. situation or some kind of crazy loan, right? So the the great thing that Nash did, he he, he did the hard work to get the credits. So what we were able to do is we were able to do what's called a three, two, one temporary buy down. So uh, what happened is, let's just for conversation's sake, use round numbers. His starting rate was seven percent uh, that he would make the payment on. Payment would be about twenty seven hundred dollars a month on that, mm -hmm. um, and he qualified for that. And that's that's all good on that end. He just wanted it lower. He wanted to stack some money away. So uh, what it does is for the first year, your rate is three percent less than the starting rate. So uh, the first year rate is four percent. So you pay about $2,000 a month for the first year. The second year is based on a 5% mortgage. Mm -hmm. So you pay about $2,200 a month or so uh, uh, for the second year. Third year is based on a 6% rate. You pay about $2,400, $2,500 a month. And then for the fourth year and every single year thereafter, it's capped at that $2,700 payment. And again, that does include taxes and insurance and everything yeah. in there too. Yeah. So yeah, he got so the payment he wanted. And that kind of bridges that gap for him that in a year or two years time, if we see rates drop back down to 4% and he can refi yeah. and then lock in a permanent 30, a 30 year fixed at that, you know, four or 5% interest rate. 
instead of having it jump back all the way up to the, the full seven. So. Yeah, yeah. And I was I was talking with uh, Kurt about this earlier, and I said, man, what's what's the biggest thing if you were a buyer that you would dislike this program? Because this isn't a lot of people don't know about this. It's not really well talked about. Well, they got kind of a bad rap from OA. Yeah. They got a bad rap when people. Which, which makes sense because yeah, they qualify them off the two thousand dollar payment. And oh, by the way, it was interest only, so it was actually only fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. In two thousand eight, not now. And oh, by the way, um, that person made five dollars an hour, and they said that they made two hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah. It was terrible. So yeah. this is nothing like that. Again, I want to make sure to stress that we're qualifying them based on the full worst payment. Yeah. They what you would be locked in for the full term of that at the full seven percent, but. You can bridge that gap for the first three years at a stair-stepped payment up to that full seven. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, the other thing that Kurt mentioned to me is, hey, what happens? You know, that's great, fifteen thousand dollars, and I guess the buyer doesn't pay it. But what happens in a year when that fifteen thousand dollars goes away when they have to refinance? They lost the rest of the money, right? They didn't make all that back. The really neat thing about this this program, the three two one temporary buy down, is any unrealized benefits that you don't actually receive you actually get back so in that example that specific buyer let's say they refinance in a year they get the rate down to four and a half percent in a refinance right then um, they would only gain about five thousand dollars of, of savings oh that's great oh, I love that. so of the fifteen thousand dollars the rest of the ten thousand dollars they actually get that back so they get to receive that back on a, what's called a principal reduction that basically just reduces their loan balance if they sell the house it just money back in their pocket for the net nice okay no that's that's Good. Yeah, that works for them. So, all right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, we'll link all of the contact information, all that stuff. Give us a call, Shane Sharp. Um, you know, love to have you guys out. If you have any questions, you know, post post a comment, like, subscribe, all that standard nonsense. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs>